Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. If you like supporting channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow my trades over at Ether where you also can copy my trades. So we'll start by looking at the oil and W2I oil. And as you can see, we have fallen more than 2% today. So oil has been really, really choppy. So we did see this spike um, earlier last week, or ending of last week, and also on, on Monday, uh, mainly due to the Suez Canal basically being blocked. Now that's not the case anymore, and that's probably also why we are basically seeing oil fall apart here. So we did see oil start to, to decline, and uh, it found basically support down here at uh, 74. 57 and then it rallied so at this current stage we're trading above the 50 moving average and as long as that is the case we'll have a gradual uptrend here we're still in this uptrend but but we have had a massive pullback and it was always expected this pullback when we basically got this far outside of the bullish band uh, we got really exposed and it basically snapped towards the bottom of the bullish band now it looks like we are stabilizing within this area but it's still really really volatile these are moves of nine percent to the downside nine percent to the upside and so on so if you look at technical indicators they are also fairly all over the place macd is still very bearish so the stochastic is turning around becoming bullish the cci is still in bearish territory and the rsi is bearish at this current stage so if we break below the 50 moving average then we can go and retest uh, 57 if we break about the, uh, the middle of the bullish band here, then we can head all the way to the top at 67 at the current stage. But it doesn't really look uh, really good today. And also the US dollar is appreciating and that should basically work against the value of oil. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has tried to rally and then it broke down. So we tried to rally towards the 50 moving average fairly surprisingly considering the, the, the time of year that we have in this point. But the 200 moving average has offered massive support. So if this is just a, um, a small rally toward the 50 moving average, probably. But it is... Um, it, is has, it has basically found major support down here at the 200 moving average, give or take from uh, 2.4 and an area of 2.6, this area here has proven to be major support so we could see this rally towards the 50 moving average before going uh, back down towards the 200 moving average a break above the 50 moving average that could open the door all the way down up to three but that would be very very surprising considering what time of year we are at this current stage so usually in the winter months you have this spike and then you have a major uh, decline to down the downside and then spikes back again so that time of year has basically passed but the 200 moving average has offered massive support also down here and also here. So is well, at this current stage, we are rallying towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are fairly all uh, becoming bullish at this point. MACD is still underneath zero, so we're still in a bearish trend, but it's crossing the signal line. Stochastic has become uh, bullish and the CCI has become bullish and the RSI is basically flat at this current stage. So let's look at copper. Sorry. So let's look at copper. So copper has fallen uh, more than 2% today. We are getting really close to the 50 moving average, which is, uh, well, it's going to be really exciting whether or not that we bounce from there or we basically break below the 50 moving average. If we, might, if we basically break below the 50 moving average, we could basically see this drop all the way down to Give or take 3.7. Technical indicators for copper are looking dreadful at this point. So we have been in a gradual grind to the downside from this basically spike. So um, rally from the 50 moving average that will most likely will we'll see a lot of buying occur when we get to towards the 50 moving, 50 moving average. Uh, rally to above the 20 exponential could open the door to 4.18 and then beyond that towards it to 4.3 so let's look at gold so gold has 
as expected, as I said in my video yesterday, completely fallen apart today, and we have tested the previous lows here at 1678. If this breaks, uh, which we most likely won't do the next uh, trading day, because we'll probably have a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band before we go higher. So last time we tested this, we saw the massive rally towards uh, 1730, and then we broke down again. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for gold. So as US yields increase and US dollar increases, that will work against uh, gold. And um, at this point, target here is 1600 all the way down here. And probably after that, all the way down to 1500, where we'll most likely find major support down in this area here. So gold has been absolutely been hammered. There should actually be a, a period where gold will be trading at the uh, three of 2000 and beyond that but we have seen absolutely completely the opposite happening the last few months all the way back to august when we basically topped here we have been in this downtrend so let's look at silver so silver has crossed the 200 moving average we basically broke the 200 moving average and at this point we are probably going to have a pullback towards the 200 and then continue going towards uh, 2250. We are most likely also going to see a crossing of the 20 exponential and probably also the 50 moving average in the next uh, uh, week or two. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for, for silver. So rallies towards the 200 moving average or the 20 exponential moving average at this point will most likely be sold into as we have basically seen in the past when we have rallied toward these points that we have basically seen uh, sellers come in and basically sell this to the downside. So it doesn't look very promising to the upside for silver or gold at this current stage. And uh, we'll probably, we have, uh, we'll probably find some support here because we are significantly outside of the bullish band. And this is also previous area where we have found support, but this trend, this uh, counting underneath the 200 moving average is a very bearish sign. So let's look at platinum. So also here in platinum, we have tried to rally towards the 20 exponential and then broken down. We are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average, and that will basically pressure this further to the downside. Target may well be 1100 at this current stage, which was uh, the previous lows here. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. They're all very bearish. So. Yes, most of these commodities that have or precious metals that have been rallying the last few months, they are seeing a reversal um, at this current stage. So let's look at pallium. So pallium has found support down here at the 20 exponential and has rallied today and given some of those gains back. Technical indicators for pallium are well, they're fairly all over the place. RSI is flat, the CCI, uh, CCI is becoming bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and the MACD is also signaling that it's going to cross the signal line uh, if we get a little bit of, of negativity here, and this will basically go even further. But this is uh, fairly encouraging that the 20 exponential is uh, acting as a major support. This also was the previous highs of uh, this range when we were trading it within the square. So we may see this rally towards the upside towards the 2.757. Uh, Break below here could open the door to the 50 moving average at 2.392. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium continues to break down and now we're uh, approaching territory where usually it uh, rallies. So the way aluminium has been behaving the last few weeks is that it has been rallying outside of the bullish band, then breaking down towards the, the 20 exponential, then rallying, breaking down and so on. So it has been basically been back and forward where at basically at the top of the bullish band and the 20 exponential moving average. Technical years otherwise for, for aluminium at this point are looking really bearish. So we may see another day of negativity and then rally to the upside. If we break the 20 exponential, then we could see this drop all the way down towards the 50 at the 2104. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has tried to rally and then 
it collapsed so towards the 200 moving average and that is not a very good sign for nickel if we break below the 200 moving average we could see drop down to 15,000 technical indicators are all looking very bearish at this point so we have done two attempts towards the 20 exponential and have been rejected really heavily um, at this point so it's not looking very favorable to the upside and we most likely will drop towards the very bottom here underneath the 200 moving average and then we'll have a crossing of the 20 exponential and probably also 50 within the next uh, uh, two to three weeks so let's look at uh, sugar so sugar continues to drop we are trading at the 0 0.1490 uh, target here most likely will be the 200 moving average at the 0 0.1417 um, in the next uh, few trading days. Rallies towards the 20 exponential uh, could be uh, could happen, uh, but they will most likely be sold into as we have tested it several times in the past and have been rejected every single time. Technical indicators are well all bearish at this current stage, so rallies towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into selling here is still really really um it's really um um risky due to the fact that we are basically at the bottom of the bullish band and we're on the edge of being oversold so let's look at cotton so cotton did find uh, support down here at 0 0.70 uh, 76 and then has rallied a little bit so we're trading at 0 0.8 if we manage to get towards the 20 exponential at 0 0.83 that will most likely be sold into as we can see that we were really rejected at this uh, at this stage technical indicators they are turning around macd is still very bearish stochastic is bullish cci is still negative territory but it's becoming uh, bullish and uh, rsi is basically flat at this current stage so let's look at cocoa so cocoa just uh, fell apart today so yes we broke these previous lows here at 2.368 we are way outside of the bollinger band here technical indicators are looking dreadful all of them are in in, in basically in um, bearish territory and uh, indicating that we are in bearish momentum to the downside but we're getting really overstretched here so it wouldn't be surprised if we have a, a minor pullback tomorrow because we're way outside here at the bullish band and we're also on the edge of being oversold. So at this point, it looks like we're going to head towards uh, 2.239 and then probably all the way down to 2.084. So yes, a horrible day for Kokoa. Uh, if we rally towards the 20 or the 20, 200 moving average, that will also most likely be sold into. So let's look at wheat. So the similar here in the weed market, um, we have also broken down significantly, are trading underneath the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for, for weed. So um, so at this point, we are most likely, we are basically found support here down at the 600, which also was expected. If this breaks, which probably won't be tomorrow because we are so overstretched, we most likely see this uh, drift towards the 20 exponential before going lower towards the 200 moving average. Uh, this could also be the very bottom of, of this market. They may well be, uh, but these second indicators are looking dreadful. So rallies towards the 20 exponential, that will most likely be sold into as we saw it here, here, and all the way up, up here. Uh, we have been rejected at that point. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow my trace over at eTro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.